That's right, Crystal. I'm not quite outside. I'm here live at Inbound Gymnastics. We'll be here all morning long. We've kind of moved past those crazy bars that were behind me earlier. We're going to talk about them in just a few minutes. But right now, I'm here with Sandy Ewan. She is the head coach here at Inbound Gymnastics. And, Sandy, this place has been here for about seven years, huh? Going on our seventh year. August will be our seventh year. How exciting. It is very exciting. Uh, we've pretty much had the same competitive kids the whole time we've been here. Wow. So that's exciting. And we've got uh, uh, Emily's our senior. She's leaving us this year. Aww. So it's good, though. It's a good a good activity. It's good. It uh, stays the kids intact together. So they've been family for seven years. Absolutely. So. And, of course, you can see uh, Emily, as you said, she's up there leading the group in their warm-ups. We're going to, of course, see them do their flips and tricks and stuff a little bit later. But how important is it to warm up, especially in a sport like gymnastics? Oh, extremely important. Uh, they take at least uh, 30 minutes to wow. 45 minutes to warm up every day. You got to make sure that all the muscles are stretched, all, uh, every part of the body has bent, flipped, or <laughs> something, because that's how injuries happen. If they're not correctly stretched, they don't do it correctly. That's how the injuries are going to happen. Mm -hmm. So, and I always tell the kids: good stretch, good workout. Bad stretch. Never know what happens, but yes. so we stay focused on it. Absolutely. Definitely want to keep all these girls Absolutely. healthy and fit. And they just got a little uh, lesson from a very famous gymnast not too long ago. Well, actually, he's, he was national, he's national staff, Gary Goodson. He's a good friend of mine. We go back years. Um, he's trained a lot with the Steve Nuno and the Carolis and the Russians and the Chinese and all over the world. Everybody. <laughs> Everybody. He's one of the consultants that the Olympic team wow. calls on. And so we had him here. We were fortunate to get him here. So we had him last week, and he did camp for us and it taught the girls some new di uh, tricks and uh, techniques and uh, progression skills. So it was a fantastic camp. Wonderful. Now it looks like you've got a kind of girls of all ages here behind us. Of course, as we said, they're warming up this morning. But, mm -hmm. I mean, all age groups that you focus on here, all skill levels? Well, the, the competitive team, I think our youngest one might be six, and they wow. start, um, you know, with uh, level three and level four. But over here, this is all the optional girls. Mm -hmm. Emily and Sarah are two level nines. We have some that might try to do level eight this year, and then there's some that are going to be level seven. And, and then we have – Level 10 is Olympics? Level no, 9 is Olympics? No, level 10, and then you go to elite. So there's still some So steps. they're pretty good. There's uh, still some steps okay. to go for sure, yes. Well, great, great. Of course, I didn't get past tumbling when I did gymnastics way back then. But we'll be staying out here live all morning long. Again, at Inbound Gymnastics, I'm Melanie Kendall for Fox 31 News. Chris, back to you. Getting me to do any gymnastics today, guys. Way too early for that. But these girls are. We are live here at Inbound Gymnastics. We're hanging out here all morning long on Good Day. These girls are amazing. It is, what, 5.30, and they're doing flips and tricks, and I'm just amazed. Katie is here. She is going to show us her beam routine. I'm just so excited to see it. Katie, I'm going to go ahead and let you take it away. While Katie is starting up, I'm going to talk over with Sandy here. Sandy is, of course, the head coach here at Inbound Gymnastics. Sandy, I mean, Katie, she's looking amazing to me, but how long has she been training with you all? Oh, Katie's been here uh, going on four years now. Um, she came over, and she was uh, in the compulsory level, which is uh, all the girls do the same routines. Okay. And she went to level seven last year, so this will be her second competitive season as an optional. I know how thick is that beam because it's looking pretty it slim is. to me. It is. It's four inches Ooh. and it's 16 feet long. Wow. And you're required to go from one end to the other back to the other. You're required to do three passes in the optional um, levels. Okay. And now, I mean, these are, I've seen these in the gymnast, excuse me, in the Olympics. Amazing. These girls, I'm shocked. What does it take to do? I mean, I'm assuming guts to get up there and get on one of these beams. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, it definitely does. And it takes years. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not something that comes to you overnight. Um, it's not something that will come to you in a month's time <laughs> I, or, or 
philosophy Whoa, is we keep going and going until we hit it. But there's, you know, the technical aspects of every skill where the hip needs to be lined up, oh. the hand placement. Wow. Yeah, all that takes in place. Amazing. Katie, get over here. That was fantastic. Come here, girl. Give Everybody give Katie a, hand of, a round of applause. What am I saying? Were you nervous up there? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no need to be nervous. I mean, that's pretty high. That's almost half as tall as you are. Yeah. Yeah? No, no sweat? You just went up there and bounced around? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Amazing. Maybe by the end of the morning I'll get up there. Probably not. <laughs> Back to you guys. <laughs> guys, it's not going to work too well out here either. But I, what I want to show you is, look at this. I'm standing on my knees, and this beam is up to almost my nose. And these girls are doing flips and jumps and tricks. I'm amazed. It's also four inches thick. I don't, I don't believe it. I'm shocked. Kaylee's up next on the beam. She's going to show us how it's done. We'll just leave the whole job to her. Best. Stick with us, everybody. There's one good day coming up next. Thanks, Kelly. Well, we are here once again live at Inbound Gymnastics. I'm here with Kaylee. She is up next on the beam. Kaylee, are you nervous, excited? What are we going to see from you? A beam routine. <laughs> <laughs> little, a woman of little words. Well, this is pretty exciting. I mean, how long have you been uh, doing gymnastics? A long time. A long time. All right. I think we're going to see some great moves from you then, huh? All right. Well, take it away, Kaylee. And I'm going to talk once again to their head coach, Sandy Ewan. She is right over here behind us. Go ahead, Kaylee. You can start whenever you'd like. But, Sandy, I'm going to rock over to you now. Looks like a couple uh, couple trophies here behind us. Yes. Yes. Uh, well, actually, all the banners, they, they represent trophies. Not everybody does trophies when we go to competition. Okay. Uh, they do the banners, so they stand as trophies, yes. Wow, pretty Sorry. impressive. I mean, seven years you all have been out here, just mm -hmm. about seven years now. I yes. mean, she is doing fantastic up there. Uh, how, do you, how do you get these girls to want to do, gym, the, to do gymnastics? Well, it, actually, you know, when they start coming, they're in a recreational program, mm -hmm. and we select from the recreation program twice a year, mm -hmm. and that's where we start them. Um, I've had Kylie uh, since she was three. Wow. And um, we highly, I mean, three years old, you're barely just learning to walk then. <laughs> why, why wait, right, guys? Absolutely. I am here live at Inbound Gymnastics, hanging out here all morning long. I was just kidding. I'm not, I'm not getting up on these uneven bars. But Emily here is. We're going to let her show off her stuff. Emily, go ahead. Take it away. But we are here live at Inbound Gymnastics all morning long. And I'm here with head coach Sandy Ewing. And, I mean, you guys have been here for about seven years now. Coming up, seventh year. Lots of trophies. Amazing talent. What are you guys doing out here? Well, uh, actually, we just want to have our name stated through the Georgia area and Florida, and this is re considered Region 8. Okay. So we just want to stand out for the region. Absolutely. Now, are you all uh, one of the only, I guess, gymnastics gyms here in the region? Uh, oh, in the region. The region, it goes into Florida, oh, wow. so uh, South Carolina. Uh, so as far as whole region, I, there's... Probably a thousand clubs, but y'all are the best, right? Well, <laughs> but we want to be the best. We want to be the best. So we try hard and we work hard, and it's all about you know the training part. Absolutely. So. Now looking at these girls, Sarah is up now. It must take amazing arm strength for these girls. And you say they start training here as young as three years yeah. old. Yes, that yes. And we spend uh, Wednesdays is uh, training for. They don't actually work out. Work out. It's strictly. Uh, conditioning and wow. flexibility. So it's two hours of strength and flexibility on Wednesdays. And we condition every day for a, a 30 minute rotation on conditioning every day on top wow. of Wednesdays. Now, you mentioned that they come here every single day to yes. train, to practice. Yes. We're here. We've been here since 5 a.m. Yes. Please tell me you're going to give the girls off later today. Yes, 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 yes. We'll be nice. Um, they'll, they'll get, when we're done at 9 o'clock this morning, they'll have the rest of the day off. And, uh, some of them will come back tonight for short practice, wow. but that's going. I'm, we're going to let them have that option. <laughs> Great, definitely yeah. something. Uh, something in the water and the blood. These girls have caught the bug. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. It just takes a lot of work. It, it doesn't come easy, and it takes a lot of practice, a lot of time in the gym, hours, and dedication. 
Great. Well, again, these girls are so good for hanging out here at Inbound Gymnastics all morning long. If people want more information, maybe they see some of these, they want to come out here, they want to do gymnastics, where can they find out more about Inbound? We have a website. It's Inbound Gymnastics. And also we have uh, flyers and we've got uh, uh, brochures that we can hand out. We'll mail them to you. You can get on the website. All the information is there on the recreation classes. Classes start as young as 18 months. Wow. It's a mom and tot. And it's real, um, it's, it's a beginner and it's a lot of fun. And then also we do birthday parties. Um, we do field trips. Uh, we'll do exhibitions. Uh, so we, we offer, uh, we try to offer a variation. Amazing. So. Well, guys, I'm sorry. Like I said, I'm not getting up on those bars. I would definitely fall off of them, fall over, probably not even be able to catch them. But I'm staying out here live at Inbound Gymnastics all morning long. Back to you in the studio. That's right, Chris. I am here live all morning long at Inbound Gymnastics. We are about to see 13-year-old Michelle do her floor routine. It's a pretty fun song, so hopefully it will get you up and moving this Thursday morning. Take it away, Michelle. Fantastic job, Megan. Now, I'm going to pull Sandy up here one more time. She, of course, is the head coach here at Inbound Gymnastics. Now, I mean, that looked like it just combined everything. Dance. I'm going to have you turn around here oh, and look sorry. at the camera. That's all right. That looked like it combined dance, poise, gymnastics moves, a little bit of everything there. Yes, yes. It's required. It, the requirements. There's certain requirements that have to be met during the floor routine, and it has to have a front pass, a back pass, leaps, uh, the one-and-a-half turn on foot, um, dance as well, uh, wow. so it, it requires a lot. A gym macro, so it, it, everything has to be met into that time allowed, which is like a minute ten. And we definitely just saw that there this yes. morning. Yeah. Now, at the gymnastics meets, do they do each different routine? I guess yes. each I, station is that what they're called? Well, events are the bars, okay. beam. Okay. So, so yeah, yeah, those would be your events. Um, so yeah, each one of them has a different. Uh, floor routine, different bar routine, different beam routine. Wow. That's the difference between compulsory and optional, and these are all optional girls. Great. The compulsory kids, they all have the same routine. Ah. So We're going to see a little bit of everything out yeah. here this morning. Yeah. Fantastical. Yeah. Well, once again, Inbound Gymnastics, we're sing hanging out here all morning long. I am just so amazed with how talented these girls are. Back to you all in the studio. Welcome back to Good Day, everyone. We are live here at Inbound Gymnastics, once again, hanging out here all morning long. I have just been so amazed by these girls' talents. Natalia is up. She's going to do her floor routine. We're going to take a look at it.
fantastic, Natalia. Great job. Here I am with Sandy Yu, and she is the head coach here at Inbound Gymnastics. And I'm going to have you take a step up here with me right now. And now, these girls, we've seen the balance beam. We've seen the uneven bars. Now we've seen the floor. What's mm -hmm. next? Um, <laughs> well, actually, there's one more event for them, and it's vault. And actually, they're doing some vault right now oh. on the track. I don't know if the viewers at home can see it. I think the camera's mm -hmm. in the wrong position there. But we'll just have to have them keep watching Good Day. Yes, yes. Um, these are actually just progression skills that we're doing for okay. later. So uh, we're trying to uh, – we do it on the tumble track, which is 40 feet long. It's just wow. a, a trampoline, but it's only about a foot and a half off the floor. And it saves the ankles and the wrists and the knees Smart. from the pounding. Very important in so, a sport like right, this. Exactly. So we want to be – injury free before the season sure. starts so. now i know talking about injuries i mean these girls were here at about five o'clock warming up and yes. now it's you know getting a little later in the yes. afternoon afternoon it's getting a later in the morning but they are still constantly warming up making mm -hmm. sure those muscles are not getting tight i mean how important is it in a sport where they're literally flying up across uh, you know the room well it's extremely important because if uh they if they sit, sit down or just uh, take a 30-minute break, the body goes through a whole change. So now we have to readjust the change that the body just went through, so we have to stretch and start over again, more or less. It has to keep going because the muscles will tense up, they will lock up, they will all tear. So, Fair you know, up. yes. Yes. All right. Well, we're not going to let that happen because no. we are out here live all morning long at Inbound Gymnastics. Back to you all in the studio. Welcome back to Good Day, everyone. I am live out here at Inbound Gymnastics, wrapping up our 8 o'clock hour. When I say wrapping up, we've still got lots of time, lots more gymnastics to talk about. I'm here with Maya and Cameron. They are two of the fantastic gymnast gymnasts excuse me, here at Inbound. And girls, how long have you been doing gymnastics? A couple of years. I was two years old when I started. Huh? Two years old. Do you even talk when you were two and you were flipping around? Well, I was in class when I was two, so then I moved to this gym. So. Wow. So exciting. Now, how about you, Cameron? I have been starting. I started at two years old also. Oh, my goodness. And then I was in, like, the little classes with um, little stuff, and then I moved up to the team. Wow. So exciting. Of course, this is you guys compete. You're part of the competition team, right? So what is your favorite event? My favorite event is bars. Yeah, why do you like the bars so much? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm used to it, so, like, it's easy for me, kind. That's her best one. <laughs> and how about you, Cameron? I like floor because you can tumble and dance, and in your floor routine, you get to mix up yeah, like two of your of favorite things, which is, those are two of my favorite things, dance right. and tumble. So. Fantastic. Well, we're going to see Sarah out here. She's going to show us her uh, floor routine. So, girls, I'm going to have you come on over and get out of the way, and we're going to watch her routine as soon as they cue up the music for her.
Fantastica. Of course, that routine might look a little familiar to some of you because she did preview it here on Good Day right there in our parking lot. So exciting. You got to come out here, see the full thing here on the mat. Of course, I've been live here at Inbound Gymnastics since 5 o'clock this morning. These girls woke up early for us. They've still been doing gymnastics, but they come out here every single day to practice their gymnastics routines for three hours. You can definitely tell with the level of skill that they have here at Inbound. Back to you all in the studio. Thanks so much, Kelly. Well, we are here once again live at Inbound Gymnastics. We've got a couple more floor routines that we want to show you because it seems like the floor routine just kind of accumulates everything. So we've got one more gymnast up. She has taken the floor right now. I'm joined once again with Sandy Ewing. She is the head coach here at Inbound. And now this is Emily who is on right now, one of your older gymna gymnasts. Yes. yes, she is. Um, Emily is getting ready to leave us and go to college. Oh. Um we're hoping that she'll be able to uh, work out with uh, UGA. We're in the process of getting that in the works. So and uh, Yes, it is. So she's our first senior to graduate. First senior. Look at that skill. Oh, my goodness. To leave us and hopefully our first uh, senior to be on the UGA team. So, so exciting. Now, you all have been out here for about seven years. Yes. Coming up, you know, that's quite the accomplishment yes yes oh yes I'm very happy about that I mean seven years it's it's been a lot of hard work it's been a lot of hours in the gym but um it's very been uh rewarding fulfilling for sure. for the you know you have to love this sport to do this. And you can definitely tell that yeah, you do yeah. and all of these girls do. I mean, we've seen now the floor, of course, everyone watching it right now. We saw the balance beam, the uneven bars, a little bit of the vault. I mean, tons of skills that these girls are practicing and a lot of flips. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Well, it is a, it's all about flipping. And, you know, with the new rules and regulations that are coming out the, uh, this, comp this season, um, you know, th there's only so much flipping backwards that you can do and now you know we're flipping forward and kind of doing what we're doing backwards in the forward element and now is that because of safety i know we hear a lot about you know football and the guys concussions but i mean this is i mean very much a men's sport but you you see more of the girls and you think about that of course they're all girls out here right. today so is is it safety or is it just trying to it, change stuff up it, it's not that it, well safety is always the the main focus mm -hmm. it has to be safe that's why we prepare you know for months doing one skill is you know safety and make sure that you know everything is technically correct sure. but going forward on the tumbling is because they've taken the back tumbling to as far as it can go oh, wow! so the only other avenue is to explore front tumbling now of course here i am uh, n naive about gymnastics and i would think it would be harder to go backwards but uh, actually it's 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 easier to go backwards oh. because you see your landing as you flip back you can you see the ground coming land. closer and yes. closer towards so you when you go forward it's completely blinded so the oh. feet land i mean you, you're doing it out of focus and wow. you know where your body is and it's learning body mechanics and you cross know, your fingers time, say a prayer and hope you there's air time so how much time i have in the air will give me how much time i've got to twist so oh, very scientific it's, it's, it's sounded like it is well the whole sport is it's oh. you know it's body now, mechanics we're hearing a little uh, little mermaid right now. Yes. Different different than we've heard before. I mean, what goes into choreograph choreographing some of these routines? Um, well, it takes time. Um, you know, I, I always let the kids pick their own music uh -huh. because I know they'll dance to it. Sure. So, you know, a floor routine has to consist of, you know, tumbling passes front and back. Um, you know, so you have to dance to your music. you got to like it. Sure. So, you know, if they don't like it, they're not going to dance. Uh -huh. Well, it looks but like we've got one more up here right now. Hopefully you all can see her. We have to keep this camera pretty steady. There's a couple walls in our way this morning, but we've got one more. We saw her on the balance beam before. She did amazing. Hopefully you all were watching at 5 a.m. because, yes, these people were here at 5 a.m. doing some gymnastics for us live on Good Day this morning. But, I mean, this is the, the cream of the crop gymnast you have here today, but you have all levels as well. Yes, we start them at level two. We have some level two and on up. We have uh, two levels. Level nines, and uh, we're hoping that this year we'll have a couple level eights. And for so. people who are watching at home who don't know the level two, the level nine, one through ten is kind of how gymnasts yes. are ranked. Yes, and the higher the level, the the better you are. Okay. So now we've got two nines, and you know, 
You're going to spend a couple years at nine. You're going to spend maybe three years at ten, and then you can go elite, and then hopefully you fall in the category of the Olympic year, and you might be one of those selected few. How fun. So. Now, speaking of Olympians, you just had a very famous gymnast, world-renowned gymnast, can I call him that, what, who yes. came and helped out with some of these girls brushing up on their technique? Yes. Last week, we brought in Gary Goodson from Colorado, which is national coach, um, gymnast, uh, philosophy. Bit uh, he's got a doctorate in philosophy. I mean, he's fantastic. He's been around for years. I've worked with him a few different times, a different occasion. But that's who, you know, the Olympic Committee calls on for, so you know, uh, scientifically, technical, uh, little bit just everything. everything. All right. Well, Sandy, thank you so much. Again, I'm Melanie Kendall from Fox 31. I've been out here live at Inbound Gymnastics all day long. I've been having a blast. Maybe I can hop on and do some flips of my own. Back to you guys in the studio.